Hey guys, in this video, I'll explain you the differences between extracellular fluid and the intracellular fluid. So there are many PYQs from this topic and this is the most potential exam question for you for both INISET and NEED. So I'll highlight the PYQs for you as well as the uh, mnemonics too. So firstly, uh, let me uh, explain you which is the extracellular compartment and which is the intracellular. So outside the cell is extracellular fluid and the inside the cell is EC ICF, right? So this is ECF and this is ICF. And inside the cell, so all the components which starts with P are more inside the cell. That means proteins, which is starting with P, and phosphates, which is starting with P, are more in intracellular fluid. So you can look at here. So proteins is starting with P and phosphates is starting with P, which are more in intracellular fluid. And now here you might ask in this table there is another word which is starting with P that is pH. So I'll explain the pH point for you. pH is not more in intracellular fluid as per the mnemonic. Why? Because in the, in, in the intracellular fluid that is inside the cell there are many metabolic processes going on. As the result of these metabolic processes there are many H plus ions generated. So the more the number of H plus ions less is the pH right. So whenever a compartment has more H plus ions in it, it is more acidic in nature. So on the pH scale, so on the pH scale, acidic compartment is having low values, right? pH number decreases. So that's why since the intracellular fluid has more number of H plus ions generated, it has less pH. So that is uh, mentioned in the table here. See, pH of extracellular fluid is more than intracellular fluid. So that explains the mnemonic part that is P part. Now let us discuss about the anion and the cation parts. Firstly, sodium and chloride, right? So NaCl, let me write it on the ECF side. So NaCl is more in extracellular uh, fluid, okay? So see, sodium is the major cation and chloride is the major anion in extracellular fluid. When you discuss about the major cation of intracellular fluid, that is potassium, which is 140, which is similar to the sodium uh, amount. See, 142 and 140. Coming to the uh, major anion of the intracellular fluid, that is phosphate, guys. So look at here. This is the major anion. The same points are written here. Major cation is Na. Major anion is Cl minus, whereas major cation for intracellular is K plus and anion is P, that is phosphate. Coming to the discussion of buffers, buffers bicarbonate, B for B is for extracellular fluid, whereas everything starts with P in intracellular, right? so proteins are the buffers in the intracellular component. Here is an important point that you need to know regarding this proteins, guys. So there is a question which was asked in the AIMS, so that is regarding the Gibbs Donan equilibrium so gibbs donan equilibrium is maintained by which of the component in the intracellular fluid or which of the component of the cell maintains this gibbs donan equilibrium was the question asked so your answer is protein for that so let me explain you what is gibbs donan equilibrium so look at this guys if you consider this as a cell and this as the membrane Cell membrane is semi-permeable, right? So it is permeable to few substances and not permeable to few substances. So whenever you have a non-diffusible, whenever you have a non-diffusible substance in a cell, it cannot diffuse out, right? But there are few permeable substances, that is few diffusible substances through the membrane. So these non-diffusible substances are not able to move. So these permeable substances will move in and out of the cell in a predictable way to maintain the equilibrium. So that is called as Gibbs Donan equilibrium. Which is responsible for Gibbs Donan equilibrium? The answer is non diffusible proteins which are negatively charged are the uh, substances which are responsible for Gibbs Donan equilibrium. So these are the kind of questions that you get from this uh, topic. Most osmotically active ion is sodium here and uh, potassium here. Rest all like calcium bicarbonate everything is more in extracellular fluid only only p is more in intracellular fluid so this was the uh, question asked i hope uh, this table is easier now thank you